Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again, and I am back with another Typhlo tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this uh, awesome cloth sort of logo animation effect. This is actually inspired by a Cinema 4D tutorial by this guy called 3D Bonfire. So yeah, he does some really cool cloth animations, and this is definitely inspired by him. So shout out to him. And uh, you can you can use any object for this. So we're basically going to be using this object as a collider with the cloth that we're going to create. And I'm going to show you guys a couple examples that I rendered out. So here are a couple of examples that I did render out. So I'll just double click on this. You can use multiple different objects, multiple different shaders to create uh, this cool effect. But yeah, once you get the effect, it'll be much more easier to sort of chain the object and get it to look however you want it. So what I'm going to do is get started. And before we do, I do want to thank uh, people who have joined my Patreon. It really means a lot to me. Uh, you know, I, I am working on some cool projects. So if you want to, you know, uh, join there, you'll, you're definitely welcome. And I, I am very thankful for the people who are already joined and keep supporting the channel. Okay, so we'll get started with this video. So I'm going to go and reset. So it's a very simple example. What I'm going to do is I'll just go and create a box here, uh, preferably a cube, and I'll just drag it out here. We don't want to give it too much height, just uh, this much. So you want the uh, uh, sort of edges to be even. So if, if we create like a, what, a cylinder, I'll show you guys the difference here. Uh, so if you create a cylinder here and we go and add some uh, cap segments here, you will see that they are not like equal amount of, like they're not equal the edges. Some of them are small, some of them are big, some of them are triangles, but you want them to be even. So what you, the easiest way to do it is create a cube just like this and I'll add a turbo smooth to it. So we'll probably add like uh, five different subdivisions or even six six is fine I guess so this now you'll see that there's an even distribution of polygons and edges across the surface at least in the middle that we're talking about and we need it so I'm just gonna go right click convert to edible poly and this is going to be our cloth so I'll just scale this up a little bit and now I'm gonna go and create a collider object for it so it can be any object in the example as you've seen we've created like we used like the Adidas logo or you can use a text, you can use an object, whatever. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So I'll basically create a simple sort of, we can create like a star. So I'll create a star from the top view, just like that, probably just like this. And make sure that it has, it's enabled in viewport and in the render. And I'll give it some thickness, just like that. And I'll move it up. So the cloth is going to collide with this and take the shape. So I'll just move it up a little bit. So now onto the tie flow part. So I'll go and create my tie flow and I'll click here. So just move it out here. And what I'm gonna do is birth objects and pick this object. So I'll hide the original object. And we wanna turn this into cloth, right? So I'll add a cloth bind. So if you hit tab, it'll basically bring up the search bar, so cloth bind. And by the way, if you're new to Typeflow, uh, you can go and check out my channel. I've got a video, Typeflow for Absolute Beginners. So here it is, Typeflow for Absolute Beginners. I cover a lot of different things, including a cloth simulation. And if you want to get into the basics of cloth simulations using Typeflow, I've got a Typeflow cloth for beginners, so you can definitely check it out. So I've got a lot of Typeflow tutorials, but those two are in general for basics and beginners. So I'm just gonna go back to 3D Studio Max. So cloth bind, and now you see all these ticks here. So I'll go to display, mark particles with the geo, I'll turn it off. And I'm gonna go to cloth bind. And basically there's nothing much we want to change here except for the CUDA collision solver. So it'll basically be faster and it'll enable you to get uh, self collisions on the cloth. And now we want the cloth to sort of grow, right? So inflate. So I'll add a modified bindings here. So I'll add modified bindings. 
and I'm just going to go set the timing to continuous and I'll go into the inflation I'll set this to like 3 for now and now you'll see that the cloth will be inflating and it'll get bigger and bigger so we need an object to sort of stop it from going up all the way right and we also need to add like a, a slow operator for it to like slow down I'll set this to like 20 and the other thing we want to do is select our tie flow here and go to the main settings and set the time step to at least 1 by 4 because it'll just slow down the cloth and make it much more sort of the collisions will be much more accurate so now we can add a collision operator make sure it is below the cloth and it'll pick the star and now you'll see the magic happen so now the cloth is colliding with the star and you'll see you'll get some interesting results here so if, if I right click on the star and go to object properties I'll go to display as box and that's basically it so you've got this uh, cool sort of animation just like that okay so it's looking nice but uh, we can we can definitely tweak it so you can select your tie flow object if you don't want these uh, sort of wrinkly details you can select it and add a turbo smooth to even smooth it out even like two levels and now it'll be much more smoother just like that right and if the inflation is too much what you can do is go to modify bindings and I'll set the inflation to one so it doesn't like inflate that much just like that right uh, but we also need to add some rings to this because you know based on any shape that you want so if you're on the project file for this you can go to my patreon page and it is there so you can download it, it includes the logo so I made it 3d so you can you can use the logo or you can use any text but in this case I'm just gonna go and I'll probably add a force here because I want the cloth to sort of go up a little bit so I'll add a force again hit tab to bring up the search so I'll set the gravity to negative 0.2 so that it'll go up I think it's going down so I'll set it to 0.2 so that it goes up so just like that so you can see that it is sort of moving up and stuff but we want to add a, a circle as well so I'll add a circle from the top view circle here one big one and so I'll just move it here hold down shift and drag because you want a smaller one so it'll create basically two rings so I'll go to the collision I'll delete the star and I'll select them both circles and I'll add them as collision so now you'll see that they're looking pretty cool so I'll just go skip forward a little bit it's gonna take some time and now you see that we have two rings forming here we want to select, select the display as box just like that so you'll see that they're looking pretty cool so it's looking nice so I may want to go and increase the gravity a little bit so like 0.7 so it goes up so now you'll see that the object is pulled much more uh, intensely upwards by the gravity but you can see we got some really cool wrinkly details here that are looking really nice so if you don't want it to be that intense of course you can go and decrease it but I think it's looking pretty cool so you'll get this look and now if you want to add the star even you can just select the star and add it here so you'll get some pretty cool results here so I'll go forward so now you can see we got this very cool look that the star and the uh, the circles are giving us so it's it's looking pretty nice so you, you can imagine the possibilities you can use your logos you can use your own sort of objects whatever you want and yeah so now it's just a matter of adding some lights and some materials uh, that will give it any look that you want so I have this simple example I've got this uh, sort of cloth um, glass I've got this material this material a cloth uh, fabric material and everything that you want so you can add lights and you can you can use like different shaders on it but this is basically the idea for this tutorial so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you learned something from it at least and if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up 
and of course I have plenty of Typeflow tutorials they can check out and plenty of project files that you can get on my Patreon. So if you want to support me and the channel and get some awesome project files, you're definitely welcome to join my Patreon page and get some awesome project files as well. Okay, so this was the today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. Until the next one, enjoy working.